Ah, what a lovely day it is. Hello, Bert. Oh, hello, Dennis. What are you doing today? Nothing much. By the way, Dennis, can I ask you a question? Yes, of course. Well, I don't mean to make you upset by asking you this, but how do you feel after the previous fight with Diesel 10? And I just hope that's the last. You know... I'm still trying to get over it, but you know, it's hard to forget what happened to me. Yeah, I know how you feel. Lately, I've been feeling like that as well. Well, at least you and I can talk about it, this kind of thing, since you and I went through it. Yeah, that's true. Well, anyways, I've got to get back to the diesel works. Bye, Bert. Bye, Dennis. Well, I wonder who else I'll talk to today. Hello, Bert. Oh, hello, Jinty. Have you seen Pug anywhere? We have a train that we have to take to the mainland together. No, I haven't, unfortunately. Oh, okay then. By the way, Bert, I'm sorry what happened to you. It's okay, Jinty. I'm, I'm still trying to forget about it, but thanks for that. I just wish that that didn't happen. Okay then. Well, if you ever need someone to talk to, I'll be there for you. Well, anyways, I'm going to go. Bye, Bert. Okay, Jinty, and thank you for that. And I'll see you later, Jinty. I'm happy to have friends like Jinty and all of my other friends on this island who are willing to help me get through this. And I'm always happy that I can talk to them about any problem I have. So, yeah. Hello, Bert. Oh, hello, Pug. By the way, Pug, since you're here, I just want to let you know that Jinty was looking for you earlier. He just came by before you came here. Oh, okay then. Thank you for telling me. No problem, Pug. Anyways, Bert, before I go, I've heard about what's been happening with you lately. And I'm just here to say that if there's anything you need, I'm here for you. Thanks, Pug. I really appreciate it. No problem, Bert. Just always remember that. I will. Anyways, I'm going to go. Bye, Bert. Bye, Pug. Huh. To me, it seems like one of those days where all my friends sound the same for some reason. I don't know why it is, but oh well, it's fine. Anyways, like I said before, I'm curious to see who else I'll see today. Hello, Bert. Oh, hello, Devin. So, Bert, what are you up to today? Nothing much. Alright then. By the way, Bert, if there's anything, if there's anything you ever need, I'm here for you. Thanks, P Thanks, Devin. I almost called you Pug for a second. <laughs> uh, it's alright. But like I said, since I heard about what happened, if there's anything you ever need, I'll be here for you. Thanks again, Devin. No problem, Bert. Well, anyways, I'll see you at the sheds. I'll see you at the sheds later. Alright, Devin. I'll see you later. Hello, Bert. Oh, hello, Bob. What are you doing today? Nothing much, as usual. By the way, Bob, can I tell you something? Yes, of course. The thing I want to tell you is that lately I haven't been feeling the same since I'm still trying to get over the fact about how I faced Diesel 10 two times, even though I'm a miniature engine. But thanks to these dual gauge tracks, I've been able to run on run like a standard gauge engine and interact with the other standard gauge engines. But, like I said, I've just been feeling that way lately. So that's all I wanted to tell you. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Bert. I don't know what that must have been like for you. It's hard trying to get through it, I can tell you that. Don't worry, Bert. We're all here for you, if you need anything. Thanks for that, Bob. I really appreciate it. No problem, Bert. We're always... I'll see you back home. Okay, see you at home, Bob. Hello, Bert, my friend. Oh, hello, Victor. What's wrong, Bert? I'll tell you what's wrong, Victor. 
lately I've been feeling down lately and I haven't been feeling like myself since I'm still trying to get over the fact about my battles with Diesel 10 if that makes any sense I know that you're upset it's hard to just overcome those things and to be honest it's hard for me overcome come my experience when I feel into the sea when I first arrived to the island so but I know how you feel you do, Victor? Yeah, it took me a while to return to my normal self, and now, as you can see, I'm happy. Well, that's good. So, hopefully, if you can, over if you can overcome your trauma, hopefully I can overcome mine. Thank you, for thank you for that, Victor. I really appreciate it. No problem, my friend. I'm sure over some more time, be... You'll feel like you're having self again. Thanks for that advice, Victor. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, Bert. Well, always, I've gotten to get back to the Steamworks, so I'll see you later, Bert. Okay, Victor. I'll see you later. Like I said before, I'm happy that my friends always have time to stop by and talk with me about my problems. I'm happy to have friends like that. But... At least one thing I've noticed today is that I guess today isn't one of those days after all where not all my friends sound the same, even though it seems like it, but oh well. Anyways, like I said before, I wonder who else I'll see today. Hello, Bert. Oh, hello, Kevin. What are you doing here, Kevin? Nothing much. I just figured I would get out of the Steamworks for a bit since the boss got out for a bit and I figured I would do the same. Oh, all right then. By the way, Kevin... Can I ask you something? Yes, of course. Kevin, did you know that you and your boss have something in common? We do? What's that? Well, the thing you have in common is both both of you have fallen into the sea, at least at one point, and that sea I'm referring to is at the docks. Oh, you're right. I remember that now. Like the time when I went to Brenham Docks for the day, Cranky had to lift me out, and... When the boss came to the when when boss came to the island for the first time, he fell into the sea. That's right. Thanks for reminding me of that bird. Even though I didn't actually remember that, but one good thing about that experience is that we both managed to survive it. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Well, anyways, I'm gonna get back to the steam works now, so the boss doesn't get worried about me. All right, Kevin. I'll see you later, bird. All right, Kevin. See you later. Hello, bird. Oh, hello, Luke. Hey, Bert, can I talk to you about something? Yes, of course. So, Bert, I've heard lately that you've been going through some stuff. Yeah, that's true. And I'm sorry to hear about that. It's all right, Luke. And Luke, since you're here, I just want to say, I'm sorry to hear about the time, the time that you had went something like this. It's all right. By the way, Bert, I'm sorry for almost accidentally saying something bad by mistake there. It's all right. I get like that sometimes, thinking I'm saying something bad by mistake. Well, I'm glad you understand about that. Well, anyways, I gotta get back to the quarry. I'll see you later, Bert. Okay, bye, Luke. Hello, Bert. Oh, hello, Proteus. So, Bert, can I tell you something? What's that, Proteus? I heard recently, you asked the lady, if there was a way, if something were to happen to you, that if she could bring you back. Yeah, that's right. And I'm here to tell you that she, she can do that. And I can also do that as well. Since we're both magical engines who have powers that no other engine has. So we have that ability to bring you back or heal you, if that makes sense. Alright, thanks for that, Proteus. I'm always happy to have you as a friend. No problem, Bert. I'm always here if you need me. But hopefully that doesn't happen again. Yeah, I hope so too. Well, anyways, Bert, I'll leave you be. Alright, Proteus, I'll see you later. Hello, Bert. Oh, hello, Jesse. Hello, Rolly. What are you two doing here? Nothing much. We're just on our way to pick up some passengers. And we saw you, so we figured we'd stop and say hi. Oh, okay then. So how are you doing, Bert? You still thinking about that? Yeah. Like I told the others before, it's kind of hard to get over it. I understand. Well, anyways, we won't be too long, Bert, since we gotta go. All right, Jesse. Well, anyways, we'll see you later, Bert. Okay, bye, Jesse. Bye, Bert. 
just remember, we're always here for you. If there's anything you need. Anyways, bye, bird. Thanks for that, Rolly. And see you later, Rolly. Well, anyways, I think I'll get back to the shed. But I can't wait for more random shenanigans. Well, guys, we're here. So, guys, what's the plan? Well, according to the boss, the plan is just to get revenge on the heroes and destroy their home. Oh, I like that plan. So do I. Alright then. So, boys, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Let's teach those heroes something they'll never forget. Yeah, let's teach those heroes something. What should I say? A lesson that they'll never forget. Yeah, and let's not forget that we will destroy those heroes as well. Yeah, soon their home will be no more. Indeed. Ha 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 